You, you know, if you know your header is uh, six meters wide, or your cedar is six meters wide, or whatever you're using is six meter wide, you can look at, okay, I'm about to run down the field in that direction. I'm at lateral point 436, so six meters wide. I wanted three meters off that to get the tractor in the middle. So at 433, so if I come over this way, at three meters, and then add six meters to it, just going down the field, I can then cut in. And um, when I do a U-turn from the other end, just add six meters to uh, the track I was following down the field in order to come up the field. Um, obviously, um, you know, if you're cutting adjacent rows, you don't have to worry about that. But if your tractor implement is too wide for the tractor's turn circle and you're doing alternate rows, then with a piece of six meter equipment, ooh, the snow melted, that's, that's handy. Um, you could do, you know, zero, six, or zero, 12, 24, etc., etc., and then when you come back, every single row is exactly the width of your piece of equipment. So, the numbers on the mini-map, kind of handy. But then, and that's, uh, that's all these mods are. That's all that um, things like GPS and uh, measure are doing, is they're just marking a spot and using the numbers on the mini-map to uh, determine what they display. Uh, twisty, twisty. There you go. And we're kind of, we're kind of getting a little bit. Are we getting a little bit full now? We're throwing everything on the left side of the trailer again. So I need to make sure I'm tipping stuff on the right, or we're going to be trying to roll over every time we take a corner on the way down to the sawmill. Good recovery. It's a little bit off center. But it's okay, I would guess. Actually, that's not too bad because we can plant ourselves at this end of the truck. Okay, so. This is going to be a little bit trickier okay oh paying too much attention to all the things I'm missing out some of them okay This, as I said earlier, this, to scoop up a log, you go in at a slight angle. Back in 17 and 19, we were basically doing this. And trying to hopefully capture the log. Well, in 22, logging physics and the in-game fork is so much better improved. You can't go in flat. I'm pretty sure going in flat doesn't really work, but if you go in slightly at an angle, because of the the cant on the front of the forks, you get the front of the forks under the log, and then as you lift it back, it just rolls on, and then grab. I could probably get two or three logs on this. In fact, we have managed to get two at one point, but really I'm not too fussed um, doing them one at a time it's it's easier to control one at a time let's just put it that way uh, ooh. try and get our 
ourselves off the trailer. There we go, and again. Oh, that's also a little bit of a problem. There's a tree stump down there, right where I'm driving. leaving. So I think I will probably manage to get one more tree on this. But the pr big problem is getting some weight on the right side of the trailer. Okay, which tree do we like? Uh, I think I kind of like this one. It's 15 meters tall. Well, that's short. So we'll get two pieces out of that. And then again, maybe that one as well. And this one's 23, so just short of four pieces. Well, we'll get four pieces, it's just we won't get four full length pieces. And then just run down the tree, chopping all the bits off. Uh, don't stop. Okay. And back down that one, I guess. Okay. And measure this lot off. So, that's about the end. Ah, uh, 465. 459. And then this one we'll get two cuts from uh, 56, 450. And 444. Okay, 444, but I'm going to have to remove that piece there. Should be able to get four forty four. And the log at the back's not interfering with us anymore. Okay. Grab that piece and then the rest will do by tractor again. This will be good. I think this will probably be good for a run to the store with. Okay. Shall I 
give it a try. haven't played how many logs can I get on a log fork. Okay, maybe I'll tip the front down a little. Open the jaws. And then hitch it back. Yours not too happy with that grab. But still. We will do the unload from the side so we can see where we're going to drop these. Uh, well, I guess we're dropping them right there. Now, obviously, part of the issue here is because the forks drop away from me. Um, ooh, uh, it's difficult to drop logs on the near side of the trailer, which is why we're ending up with it. little out of uh, balance. Anyway. So, this week is Thanksgiving week in the United States. Which means I will be streaming this week on Thursday Probably not a full length episode, but at least until um, other members of the household get up. Oh, let's try and do this properly. There we go. Um, and probably streaming again on Friday, although it's not a holiday officially, it's a day I don't have to work, so. Uh, is that and then we'll have another stream on Friday um, so there will be three streams this coming week um, for people on YouTube who catch the videos on YouTube I will be doing my usual two per day but that does mean that um, Episodes on Thursday will drop on Friday and Saturday and possibly Sunday, which means the Friday episodes don't drop till Monday and the Saturday episodes don't start dropping until the end of the week. Um, so there may be, there'll be a lot of videos, but the, the catch up if you... Uh, if you... Uh, want to keep extremely up to date you're not going to catch up until probably early December and we'll have a similar thing over the new year except again uh, there's going to be six opportunities to stream in two weeks so yeah But the streams are available on Twitch for three months, I think. So, if you want to catch up before the next Twitch episode, you can watch yesterday's stream on Twitch. Okay, we will call that, I think, a good job. How many, uh, how many trees have we killed today? Uh, there we are. 
20 trees cut down. That's not 20 here, I think it's 18 here. But, uh, hide here. No, don't run in front of my tractor. Oh. It's 20 after, it's only 20 after 10. Hmm. Still need to figure out the straw for the cow shed. Drop that there. Drop that there. Try not to lift the front of the tractor up. Uh, stick it dry, then turn it off. Uh, so the cows are. How are the cows? The cows have 32,000 litres of milk, so we should probably do a milk run. Uh, straw, 18,000. We are getting low on straw in here. So I do need to figure out that whole straw thing as well. I think I can jump backwards to here. So I'm guessing there's probably about a third of this area. We can cut down some more trees on January 2nd, maybe, or maybe February. Maybe we'll do similar to the we're doing with contracts. I'm only allowed to contract on one day a week, a month. Um, meantime, we'll slow time down to times one. Um, I'm going to deliver some milk after I've dropped this lot off. And... Um, Maybe grab one of the cultivating contracts. I'll borrow the equipment because we don't have a cultivator. And then, then what? Well, hopefully things will be done by then. Well, it's nice that the snow's gone, because that does make driving on the roads a little bit interesting. Well, not so much the roads, but on the fields a little bit interesting, and finding all the wood on the ground. But yeah, there's a there's a tree area there that we could buy in next year, maybe. And that's the thing. I mean, we, we're producing a lot of silage in which we're not using. So what I can do is, um, is I'm generally saving up the silage till just before winter and selling it at a good price. And that's a huge influx of cash for the farm, which uh, allows us to buy more land. Um, generally not buying equipment. I like to keep a fair amount of money in the bank so that if equipment comes up on the sale, we can buy it as it comes up. Um, uh, and again, the tippiness. Dancing logs. Oh. oh, that load is getting very dancy. But I might run a. I might do a load up of uh, Maypole without. just with the Platinum Edition. And um, fill up a container and see where I can sell it. Um, and see if that is an option because we could then do container sales which are quite lucrative um, you lose the wood um, but you make a ton of money like 75,000 per load um, but then we have to figure out things to do with the short 
end pieces because they're not um, they just waste space in the container and make it less valuable but that might be a uh, I don't know, because um, this sawmill, I believe, is the one from, um, oh, what is it? Not Erlengrat, uh, Obeleron. Um, so if Giants has had a con added a container cell point to Obeleron's sawmill, then it should appear on this model. Okay, let's turn off the straps how much do we make? 6,000 well so we've made about 15,000 just on wood sales today I could probably find out for definite by pressing the button uh, wood, sold wood 16,522 that's kind of okay uh, we did lease, oh, we bought the log fork, so we covered the cost of the log forks, and we did lease um, this logging trailer. So, I think for the most part, we've done okay. Um, as I said, we'll probably keep the logging trailer for another day, which is going to add to the leasing costs. But if we can make another 6,000 or 16,000, just from chopping down trees in that area maybe that's a good thing <coughs> oh excuse me I think my tea is cold oh yeah that's very cold tea and that's a car Getting fairly close to uh, the sales popping up. I think I did buy something on sale. Because there's only three things listed. Of course, my problem is, is what was it? it? Might have been this tractor. No, I don't think it was this tractor. So we got this back when we were harvesting silage and stuff so I'm kind of glad this trailer was included in the uh, platinum edition because it has worked out I was looking for something like this I was sort of oh there's one in the platinum edition well that's kind of handy so we cut down 20 trees we could get a mulcher or um, chopping device uh, uh, stump grinder and a pallet of trees and go and replant the 20 that we cut down today it doesn't really matter because obviously it takes a couple of months for trees to get established so it's probably a lot easier if we just chop them all down and then uh, load them all up again. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, just like that. So we'll take a tank of milk down to the store because that's a good thing to do. much turning and because there's holidays this week I may actually get a chance to put in a few hours here and figure out how to get straw back into our cow shed which we've done once but we're having problems with there is, uh, I can't remember if I mentioned there was a mod added to the mod hub this week which allows you to cut bales open so grab a bale 
cut it and it falls into loose material, but then we'd need a bucket. And we don't... Oh, I forgot about that. We don't currently have a bucket. So, uh... I need to figure that out. And yeah, there's another bump there. So, something about this truck and this map. There are some dodgy points along the road from the farm. Uh, oh, I hit the tree. It's not a good plan. Okay, there we go. Probably driving through the hedge there, aren't we? Yes. So, what, what's up on the sails? Oh, there we go. So, there is a manure wagon. Oh, Zeto Crystal HD for 171 horsepower. Nice, nice, small starting tractor. We started with the Deutz, so uh, we started with just shy of 250. But... Uh, Zetor's a good little tractor if you're starting a small farm. Oh, and I did see... Was it Disturb Simulations has been setting up... Um, oh, what is it? Um, auto Drive for this map. Because as we found, setting workers off on trips around the map doesn't really uh, work out too well. So uh, setting up auto drive courses is um, okay there's another one just down here. might be a way to get workers driving vehicles around the map. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, that's a good amount of milk sold and uh, we are definitely making a serious amount of money on our cows now. Um, I believe the third batch have, uh, have had babies so we're now up to 60. Take a look in a minute. Just pop that there. Engine off. No, nope, we still only have 45 cows. So how are the cows doing? Uh, it's the group of 15 next month. So February we're going to have 60 cows. Productivity's at 100%. Um, we have a ton of slurry. And we don't need any more for this year. Uh, milk 8,000, so it take a while to charge that back up. And we're about half food. So the big problem I've got is the straw. But what I was going to do... These are... What? <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Uh, field 9, field 40. Let's 